Hey guys, it's Deb Rayley with the Social Tech Team, and today we are going to talk about Google My Business. Now, we spend a lot of time talking about Facebook, Instagram, even YouTube and Pinterest. Those are all great social media tools for your business, certainly in terms of staying in front of top of mind of your customers. But those are also search engines. I mean, if you think about how you use them when you're looking for business recommendations, uh, if someone knows or has had a great experience, those are often places where you might go. But let's not overlook the biggest search engine of all, which is Google. And Google has made a way for small businesses and direct sellers to have a great space uh, right here in Google. And it's free. So that's even the best part. Now, this is called Google My Business, and you can find this by going to google.com forward slash business. It's pretty straightforward. It, it, will, uh, have, it will walk you through how to set everything up. It's pretty intuitive. Um, but the benefit here is that when you have your business formally listed on Google and you have customers or prospects or business partners that are in Google, looking for you or looking for your business or looking for a product or perhaps someone who's not already a customer looking for your type of business or your type of product in a geographical area near them. This helps you to show up higher in the search results. So let's get started with how you go about getting yourself set up. First and foremost, you have to have a Google account or a Gmail account. So if you don't have one, go ahead and set one up. Now you're going to go to google.com forward slash business. And once you have set up your uh, account, you're going to sign in. Okay, so I'm going to click sign in and then we're going to sign into the account. Okay, so here we are in uh, Google My Business. You can see that right up here on the left. And I don't have my business currently listed. So if I scroll down just a little bit, I'm going to add my business. Now, you might want to type in the name of your business just to be sure there's not one already there exactly like yours. Um, so that might be a good idea, too. But go ahead and add your business to Google because really people can have more than one. There can be more than one of the same type of business. Uh, because we're going to differentiate things in a variety of different ways. So here we're going to enter in our business name. Okay, so you enter in the name of your business and tap next. Then it's going to ask you for a business category. So here, of course, you can change these things later. So we'll say it's a clothing store. This is my fake business, by the way. And if you want to add a location, so if you have a brick and mortar business, and you want to add a location, like an actual physical place, here's where you can do that. If you are perhaps in direct sales and you work out of your home or you're a service-based business and you don't want to include an address, you can say no because we're going to update some information here in a little bit. So we're going to say no, even though this is a clothing store that should. Now, where do you serve your customers? So here's where you can um, give a little bit more information. So if you only serve maybe the Texas uh, community, or if you serve the southeastern region. But here I might say, if you're in direct sales, you probably serve the United States. So I'm going to be that broad and see this is what I've selected. So you can get a little geographic there. Now, here's where you're going to list your phone number and your website. Two things I want to caution you on. First of all, if you are in direct sales or a service based business and your business for yourself and you do not like giving out your personal number, I encourage you to have an alternate number. You can get a, a Google number that can be pointed to your phone. If you're using Project Broadcast for text marketing um, and you have a phone number associated with that, you can use that and list it here. So whatever phone number you're going to put here is what's going to be publicly available. So keep that in mind. If you need some ideas of how to uh, find alternate phone number options other than listing your personal, then just give us, you know, reach out to us and we'll give you a few ideas there. Okay, so let's put in a contact phone number. And then as far as your website goes, if you have a website already established, if you're in direct sales, it's perhaps your parent company hosts it, um, or you have a custom domain that you use that you point, to, even, even if you point it somewhere else, um, that is the current website that you would list. Perhaps you don't need a website. Perhaps you're in a service that you don't need a website. I can't imagine somebody not having a website anymore, but... Um, there are businesses out there that don't need a website. Or if you don't have either of these options and you would like to get a free website, you can certainly click on this 
and it would give you some um, options down the road of how you can use Google to build out a website for you. OK, so I'm just going to include my current website here and we'll just say. Um, I'll just put that in there and I'll say I got to put in a phone number here. I'll just put in my phone number and click next. And you're done. Now, it seems like, well, that seems easy. Well, you're not quite done. You're finished with this part. So the next thing that's going to happen is Google has to verify that you're a business. And they do that by mailing you a fun little postcard that you get in the mail. And when you get it in the mail, you have to log back into your business account and you have to enter in the code that's in this form. This is how they verify that you are the person in charge of that business, that you have filled this out and you want your business listed. So in this case, you do need to enter in your street address because they need to know where to mail the postcard. This is hidden from the public. OK, look at this. The address you provide here is hidden from the public. So this is only for them to mail you this card. So fill this in and then we'll get on to the next steps. Or you can say verify later, but you still are going to have to at some point do this so that they can mail you the card. OK, now, once you've gotten your uh, account set up, look, it says welcome to Google, Google My Business. And it walks you right through all of these things. We're only 40 percent complete right here. Verification is needed. So until I enter in my code, I am not verified. Therefore, my content that I'm putting in here is not publicly available. So this part's super important is the verification process. All right. Now it starts to look a little bit like maybe some elements of what you might have on a Facebook business page or even on a website. It is going to ask you to add the hours of your business. It is going to ask you to add a description of your business. Add a picture that's a logo of your business, which, by the way, I would make sure your face is in this. OK, and then you have it says you can create a post just like on social media. You could create a post about your business or about a product that you have. You can kind of explore around a little bit here and see a few different types of things that they have here. They, of course are going to try and tell you you should be running ads. This is not what this video is about. I'm not trying to teach you or tell you that you need to run ads. But I am telling you, this is how you get your free business listing on Google. So get yourself verified, follow those steps, come in here, complete your listing, and then let's take a look at once you've added some things, how this might look for your business. OK, so this particular account, this is our social tech team account. We've gone ahead and verified uh, this particular account. And here are some of the things that you'll see. So then once you've logged in and you've verified your account, you start to look at this like, hey, you actually have a dashboard and you have things that you can include in here. So here I've created a post and this is how it shows up in Google. Right. You can say learn more and it takes them to our website. OK, because that was the button here that we could create. There you go. There's the post that they can see. All right. Look, I've got my home on the left and it gives I've got free ad credit because I verified everything. So if I wanted to run an ad, I've got some free credit sitting there and uh, you can secure a custom email if you want to. Look at all this cool stuff that they have in here. You see, here's when it says 14 days free, that means anything after this you're going to have to pay for. So I'm trying not to do anything that I have to pay for. <laughs> and this is what shows you uh, what your business postings look like. So remember, I showed you that posting right up here. Like this is the posting right here. And these are what the postings would look like um, on Google. And you've seen these. They're, they show up on the right hand side of a Google search. You've seen them. OK. And so we go here to post and you can this is where you can add updates, add events, add an offer, add a product. And how cool is this? Right. Here's some business information you can update. Open, closed, you know, URL description reviews. If people are doing business with you and they have reviews, uh, they would leave a review here on Google. Here we have products. So if you're running a special or a promotion on a product, here's where you can list your product and when they click on add product or I'm sorry check out then it takes them to the website because that's where you've told them so here I've clicked on show me what this looks like on Google so here it is on Google digital download so if somebody's looking for Instagram stories highlights 
icons with a training, they can purchase this here. They click this and it takes them over to our website where they can actually make the purchase. Of course, if they click here to call us, this will call my phone. Now, remember we talked about the phone number before. This is not my personal phone number. This is our project broadcast phone number with text marketing. So if somebody were to actually call it though, I have it set up so it actually rings my phone, but they don't have my personal phone number. So that's pretty cool. But here's how when you have your business set up on Google and somebody is searching for social tech team or using any of the words that I included in the description, it pull, look at this, it pulls right up, right up at the top, okay? Out of a look at all these results, boom, right up there at the top because we've listed our business. It shows a map. It says this is the area that we serve, North America. And of course, I have a little bit of extra information I need to add in here. So, guys, I'm telling you, get yourselves on Google. You'll be so glad that you did. And um, it takes a, and don't forget, you have to maintain this. So, as things change in your business, you want to update your Google My Business. It's free. And I encourage you guys to all check it out and give it a try. Don't overlook it. Have a great 2020. See ya.